Hey guys, I'm Roger Roger Gaming, and I'm your coach for the Las Vegas Corviknights. We have been invited to join the Mythic League, so let's get into our draft breakdown. Alright, so our first Pokemon, I wanted to go with something I've never used before, a very fast electric fairy type Tapu Koko. I'm super excited, I think it adds a lot of versatility to our team, it can be run physical, special and i think it's pretty good steal for 16 points i think it could have been higher and let's get into the best steal in the draft in my opinion dracovish at 14 dracovish is absolutely insane at 14 this thing is a monster and it's one of my favorite pokemon to use in draft our next pokemon is halucha halucha takes the use of the electric terrain set up by coco we can use electric seed to activate our unburden ability and it also can take the ground types that Coco does not want. Go to Halucha on something that Coco doesn't want to stand. Get our unburdened boost and then kind of set up from there. Mamma Swine is a great Pokemon. I really enjoy having ice types on my teams. So I thought that helped fit. And it also gives us a electric immunity, which our team needs with Coco. Or not Coco, but Halucha, rather. And let's get into our next Mon. Our fire type. For our Fire Water Grass core is a Darmanitan. Darm hits super hard with its sheer force ability, and it just has a great attack stat overall. I believe it's 140. It can hit super hard. It gets a fairly good move pool, and it's just an absolute monster. So I can't wait to reuse it again. Slow King, I got this time as a budget slow bro i think slow king is a very good pokemon i actually kind of prefer it to slow bro just because of its defense special defense i think suits my needs slow bro is actually probably better but i, I like slow king for some reason and let's get into our next mon for the first time i am using reggie steel for our dragon fairy steel core we have a very good fairy in top of coco an amazing dragon in dracovish and our steel type is reggie steel i've never used it before but it is a very good defensive mon having i believe both 150 defense and special defense so it can take hits fairly well and it just adds a lot of bulk to our team our next pokemon is going to be amungus i love this mon helps complete our regenerator core with slow king amungus is very good in my opinion i actually prefer it over other regenerator mons like i definitely prefer it over eldegoss and tangrowth i like it actually more because it's a ground poison type so it does more for our team and it has spore which is really good i, I really love me some spore because sleep is absolutely broken in this game and we can use it so yeah let's get into our next pick so our mega is going to be mega Absol. i think this is an incredible mega for this league because this league is the first league i've ever been in that allows baton pass and mega Absol gets access to a lot of setup moves and it gets baton pass so we can go baton passing into dracovish which basically means the game's won pass into halucha the only thing is we can't pass speed with another stat we can pass like attack and defense but we can't pass speed with another thing. I'm really excited to use it and our final mon to round out our team is going to be Gigalift. I think this is an amazing final pick because it pairs with Dracovish so well. Having a Sand Core also pairs well with Mamoswine and Registeel. I think it's just a really good mon. I'm really excited to see it. It's got a very good attack stat so it can also be run offensive but I'm mainly thinking it's going to be supportive mon. Good is mostly used specially defensive which our team is good on. It can be run defensive, but in the sand, giving that extra boost to the special defense is really good. And yeah, let's get into a little bit more of our team breakdown. All right, so I'm going to get into the sets. Basically, these are all the standard Smogon set for the Pokemon. So just talk a little bit more about it. Tapu Koko, I think, is an amazing, amazing Pokemon. It gets access to a variety of moves. Thunderbolt can be uh, used both physically and specially offensive, which is amazing, giving us a lot of versatility in our first pick. And its stats are insane, having that base 130 speed. It's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, and it can hit fairly hard with 115 attack and 95 special. U-Turn also allows us to have a pivoting option, which is really important, and it has some recovery in Roost which is great. Let's get into Dracovish. Dracovish hits super hard with his Strong Jaw having both two viable abilities, Strong Jaw and Sand Rush. Sand Rush allows 
it to make use of the Ficious Rend outspeeding its opponents a fair bit of the time. And Ficious Rend, if you outspeed your opponent, its attack is boosted, which is makes it just absolutely insane. And it's just an amazing mod. If you watched any of my other league I've been in, it has put in a lot of work, and I really really am looking forward to using it this season. All right, Halucha. This is pretty much what I anticipate running sometimes. I might change it up a bit just so I never have the same set. Keep them guessing. But Electric Seed helps with the Coco. We can make use of its electric terrain that it sets up. And it being a flying type helps with our ground immunity for things that want to stay in on Coco. Sword Stance. It, this thing also gets access to Baton Pass, which is very good because we can Baton Pass Sword Stances to Dracovish, which basically means the game's won, or we can baton pass other stuff. Unburden is an incredibly good ability, doubling our speed once our item is consumed, so we could potentially, there are a few other sets like Power Herb, Post Combat, and other stuff. Acrobatics also does more damage if our item is removed, so this set's really fun. And I've never used this Pokemon before, but I think it's going to put in a lot of work. I'm really looking forward to using it, and yeah, let's get into our next mod. Mamoswine is another Pokemon I have never used before, but it can be really good. It's a fairly hard hitter with a 130 attack. Icicle Crash, Earthquake, and Ice Shard. Ice Shard gives us priority on our team, which can be really good against things that are super weak to ice, such as like Garchomp was drafted, some other Pokemon off the top of my head that are quad weak, and Ice Shard can be invaluable in those matchups. Knockoff is incredible just to remove items, and this thing can also be a rocker, which is great, and Thick Fat is a very good ability in my opinion, because it has the damage of a Fire and Ice, and this thing I, has a lot of versatility in my mind, so I'm excited to use it. I think it could be a real asset to the team. Darm is absolutely incredible. Love this Pokemon. Hits super hard. Flare Blitz is incredible. Does just a, just a tremendous amount of damage to my opponent. Anything they want to switch in, you can't really switch into this thing. This thing is absolutely incredible just because it hits so hard. Base 140 attack is just ridiculous. You can pair it with a Life Orb to help with that Sheer Force, and it just it's incredible. U-Turn also gives us some momentum. Let's get into our Slow King. Slow King is amazing, very good. It's mostly run defensive, but also has some offensive capabilities with the base 100 special attack. It's fairly decent. Slack Off helps as a very reliable recovery. Also has Regenerator for more recovery. Skull to potentially snag burns and cripple our opponent. And Teleport to make a delayed escape to the battle and be able to bring in our more threatening Pokemon like a Dracovish or something else to, to want to be able to just destroy our opponent. So I think this thing could be really good. I'm really excited to use it. And yeah, let's get into our next mod. Registeel having the clear body so it's a st attacks Stat cannot be lowered along with any of its other stats. Stealth Rock, it gives us a um, pretty good Stealth Rocker. Toxic Seismic Toss is absolutely a broken move, taking a good chunk of our, I think it's 25% of the opponent's attack, so that's a fourth of their health every turn, So it's which is just amazing. Protect Toxic can be fun, and it's incredible defensive and special defensive stats are great. I'm really much looking forward to using this mod. I think it can put in a lot of work, and it's my first time, so I'm really excited to try it out. Among Us is a personal favorite of mine. I feel like it's such a good mod. It can be run both specially defensive and defensive, depending on the set. It has, gets access to a variety of different moves. Spore, Gig Drain, Sludge, and Clear Smog, just to name a few. Helps complete our Regenerator Core with the Regenerator ability, which gets our health back. Rocky Helmet's a decent item. Also, Black Sludge helps. Mega Absol is an absolutely amazing Mega, in my opinion, for this league, just because of its versatility with Baton Pass, and it gets a fairly wide move pool. It gets Fire Fang, it gets a bunch of other Play Rough, it gets Sucker Punch, Knock Off, and Stab Knock Off. I, I just don't want to, like, undermine that. That's incredible, and its attack stat is very good, 150. I think it has the highest attack stat on our team. Magic Bounce also is very good allowing our team could be very weak to something like sticky webs and this allows us to bounce them back which could be incredible and help dracovish and stuff very good support and i'm really excited to use it i've not used this mega before and i'm really i think it's going to put in some work in this league so i'm really excited about that 
And our final mon is going to be Gigalith. This is going to be our sand setter for our Dracovish. Another incredibly reliable stealth rocker. Good mon overall. It has a very good defensive stat. Special defense is also pretty good under sand. Can hit very hard with its incredible attack stat. I really think this mon is going to put a lot of work in and be one of our keys to winning our matches just because of its bulk and its attack. Being able to chip things down, set up rocks if needed to get chipped so Dracovish can clean up is just going to be a key to the game, and I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a very good glue piece to our team, and I think it's going to be just an amazing Pokemon overall this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this team breakdown. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. I think our team's going to do really well this season, and I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think about it. All right, I'm going to go. See you guys later. Peace out.